Nashville, you know you're- oh, you guys are dumb, both of you. Alright, so... Brawler, Brawler Gunner. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is a decently even matchup. So the thing that uh, Chibo does differently than a lot of uh, Gunners is a lot of Gunners prefer to take... Uh, a lot of Gunners prefer to take Grenade as their neutral B. Chibo really likes charge shot. He thinks that it helps him win the damage trades a little better, uh, which I agree with. And instead, he relies heavily on the bomb instead of taking Reflector. Which in this case is actually fine because Puster, uh, like a lot of me brawlers, thinks that uh, the optimal neutral B is actually ultimate uppercut. And that is a stock. Chibo, why'd you go to Smashville? Oh, man. So Chibo, Chibo's kind of behind, but I mean, if he can just force Puffster into a bad offstage situation, kind of like this, but he can't get much off of it, unfortunately. We're going to see the combos coming out, down throw, forward air. Oh goodness. So, and Puffster, I still don't think he's even at KO percent for Chibo. But as we've seen, if, if Chibo stays on that platform, then uh... Yeah, that, that early stock is really hurting him right now. Oh, and he armors through the dash attack, gets him with the uppercut. That is game one for Puffster. Puffster is just like the master of these low percent kills. He's just absolutely the, just the master of them. So we'll see if Chibo stays on Gunner. I don't know. I hope he does just for like, you know, the me thing. I don't know why he went to Smashville. That's a dumb stage to go to versus Brawler. <laughs> but hey. Alright, so Clash of two of the best Mies goes to Brawler, uh, as the tier list would dictate, <laughs> so far. Where's Chibo going? Where's he gonna go? I like how in the Smashville render both of the owls are asleep because it's daytime. That just makes sense. That's just attention to detail, that's Nintendo polish. Oh, it's beautiful. Where are we going? Where are we going? Corneria, you guys want to go to Corneria? I mean, I can ask him, but I think we have to break out the 3DSs for that. And I don't have mine with me, so... We're just taking- we're just taking our sweet time on this, uh, this stage select screen here. Chibo just doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know why he went to Smashville. Are we really back on Smashville? Why are we back on Smashville? I don't- I don't agree with this at all. I just don't understand what he's thinking. Okay, so that was a nice little uh, evasive gun dash there. Oh, he missed- so he- he read the air dodge, but he missed the opportunity to follow it up with the mirror. He's doing a pretty good job of beating out a- Doing a pretty good job of beating it out with forwarders, though, so if you keep doing that, it'll make it hard to approach. Oh, yep, that is the most punishable thing. He gets an air. Oh, no, almost. That kind of probably could have led into the, uh, the uppercut after that festival reset. I, like, I want to get more hype for Puffster stuff, but like that, he just does that all the time. He invented that. <laughs> oh, but it doesn't, it doesn't reset him properly. He's too high in percent. Puffster's doing a great job with all of these, uh, all of these... Air dodger he's getting, and all these pistol he's getting off too. She was having a really hard time of like making this swing in his favor, because Puffster Puffster just seems to know how to go under Chibo's bomb setups and just how to make him how to how to make Chibo like kinda open up. Like that's what you get when you, you play somebody who actually knows these characters. Um like, you see people- people are always gonna complain about, like, oh man, the knees are so weird, but like, watch me or Puffster fight Chibo, I and mean, we don't- we don't get hit by half the stuff. And that's it. Very nice neutral Vienna shield for that fully charged uppercut. Probably wasn't necessary, he probably could've just up smashed, but I mean, it looked way cooler, and he got it recharged anyway, so we'll take it. This match is going better, though, because Chibo has not died at, uh, 40% yet. And, oh, he gets his beautiful combo opened up, gets the re-grab. To the footstool, Nair, free grab, to the footstool, to the Nair. Oh my god, he looked like Nuke. He looked like Lucas for like 10 seconds there.
So, Chibo, Chibo's like kind of getting some things down. Like, it's not, it's not, he's not making it hard enough for Puffer to get in. And you can't, you can't keep coming to these forward smashes like this. That was such a nice setup from Puffster. You just really don't see other brawlers go for those things. And Chibo is forward smashing like crazy. Like he must be misinputting. I'm seeing him go for so many. He, he'll he preach to you for hours about how it's like one of Gunner's worst moves. If he can clean this up. There he goes. He, so he lands with the bomb to cover himself safely. But Puffster, Puffster's just so mobile with his character that it's not really giving him that much trouble. Oh, and that up tilt, strong hitbox is going to take it off the top. Chivo at 67, though, uh, I think he's probably in the danger zone for a lot of things. That 23% off charge shot is exactly why Chivo takes it. Because if you're a gunner and you're behind a percent, that is bad. Oh, that's probably the stock. Yep. And the set to Puffster. Beautiful little, uh, beautiful little, uh, bait there from Puffster. And he gets the setup off. So that is, uh, that is, that is Puffster advancing in the tournament. I mean... My pick, my pick to win tonight, personally. That's, that's all I'm saying. My, my pick to win this tournament. I was going to be Team NTBD tonight, but then Puster showed up. I love both of them, but uh, got to be the Fighting D team. So who are we going to get up next on stream? I wonder if Puster's... No, nah, he's, he's coiling up. He's, he's going out. Sitting down. Who do we got? If Vex and Heart. Ooh. Ooh. This would be pretty good. So, for the, if, if anybody here is new to the stream, Vex is, uh. I think for a while he was wearing the, the tag Copa, King of PA. Uh, he is. He's pretty much undisputed our best player when 6WX is not here. Uh. As I understand it, he wins quite a few of the Weaver Bears events. Uh, he's DK, he's Cloud, he used to be Little Mac, and then he sold out. Gotta move this because it's all up in the business. Ugh. Twitch. Who's doing this? Twitch.tv. 